this has been going on. Michelle's hacking nightmare began with a simple click on her phone. Samsung account update, and I pressed it. And I, and I think that's what it was, because within probably an hour, my phone went down. Her cell service provider got it working, but when she logged into one of four cryptocurrency accounts, it was empty. It was about 15000 That's gone. That's gone, just like that. She asked her provider to restore emails that might have been deleted. That's when she saw withdrawals. He'd know my account screen name, uh, forgot password. They'd email the password, and then he got it, and he got in. The hacker couldn't get into two other accounts, but got access to a third, now frozen. He sent her a ransom note, thousands more, now in limbo. Her click, likely installing malicious code. And when you do that, you then open up your phone to be available to whoever, from wherever, for whatever. She got hit by the, the equivalent of a street thug walking down the street stealing her purse. Cyber criminals with more resources. You can lease that technology, you can rent that technology, you can create that technology. Um, it, it's all out on what, what we call the dark web. The expert tips, use difficult to guess passwords, vary them and use multi-factor authentication on everything. You can make yourself harder to hack by thinking before you clicking and keeping your software and operating systems up to date. I was like, if they can do this to me, I, I mean, I want to let people know, it's like, you are never safe. Now, if it were credit cards or bank accounts, those would likely be recoverable. But the expert says, at this point, with Bitcoin, likely not. Now, for more information how to report a cyber crime, you can head on over to our website. There's a link there as well as on our mobile app. We're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.